Croplands around the world are the foundations of our food sources. They're also some of the largest producers of nitrogen pollution, which can harm wildlife and endanger human health. How can we solve these issues while preserving global food security? New studies are providing some ideas. Cropland nitrogen pollution is largely due to heavy use of nitrogen-based fertilizers and manure, plus inefficient use of this nitrogen by the crop plants. The unused nitrogen can run off into waterways, where it causes problems like algal blooms and related fish kills. Or it can be released into the air as ammonia gas, where it contributes to fine particle pollution. And it's worth zeroing in on cropland-derived ammonia to help address particle pollution. One recent study revealed that decreasing ammonia emissions cost 90% less than decreasing emissions of another contributor, nitrogen oxide, from sources like fossil fuels. Another new study has identified numerous key measures that, if adopted, could drop cropland nitrogen loss to the air or water by up to 70%. At the same time, these measures could increase yields by up to 30%. And with the potential to improve the efficiency of nitrogen use by up to 80%, the measures can greatly decrease the cost of fertilizer for farmers. The identified strategies include things like using enhanced efficiency fertilizers, applying soil amendments like straw, rotating crops, and optimizing irrigation, among others. Notably, these strategies do have their own costs and require effort to implement. One way to encourage farmers to adopt these practices might be to use a nitrogen credit system that incentivizes their implementation. Surprisingly, the research also suggests that a different environmental issue might help mitigate the nitrogen one. Increases in atmospheric CO2, like those linked with climate change, may actually increase crops' ability to use nitrogen. This, in turn, could translate into greater food production, lower costs, and a cleaner environment. Undoubtedly, the links among food production, climate change, and environmental and public health will remain complex, especially as the global population continues to grow. Tackling their intertwined issues will likely mean rethinking our past approaches to nitrogen use. Nevertheless, the fresh research in this area provides guidance that will help humans leverage this essential resource in smarter, cleaner, and more efficient ways.